All right, what is going on? Welcome back to this Cleveland Cavaliers My League. And as you can see in the bottom right, we are currently 29 and 24. Yeah, not the start I wanted. But if you are new here, be sure to subscribe. We got NBA 2K20 content every single day with a little, little sprinkle of Madden in here. But the reason we have such a mediocre record is because our two All-Stars we traded for last episode, Rudy Gobert and Jimmy Butler, are both injured. So yeah, that's not good. That's not good. Let's look around the league. CJ McCollum just got traded for Blake Griffin. Okay. That's interesting. Um, Richard, I don't know who the hell these are. You can see the two trades we made to get Jimmy and Rudy. We traded Cousins, Chris Dunn, and a first round pick for Jimmy. And we traded Siakam, Jordan Clarkson, a first round pick, Gary Clark for Rudy Gobert and another first round pick. Yeah, pretty big trades here. And I'm just going to show you the rest of the trades that went on around the league. But... As you know, I haven't uploaded the past two days. That there's a reason for that. I'm not telling you. Can't tell you. But there is a reason. Back to daily uploads. You already know what it is. Now, I'm thinking about maybe getting a, making a schedule again. Because as you know, at the beginning of 2K19, I did have a schedule. You know, I had made a schedule. You know, uploads at certain videos every day. You know what I mean. As of now, usually I'm going to put Madden every Sunday. I'm going to upload Madden every single Sunday. Because, you know, Sunday's football. So Madden is probably going to be every single Sunday, but I don't know if I want to make a schedule. So if you guys want me to have like a schedule, scheduled uploads, like let's say the Cavs My League on Mondays, Gerald Johnson on Tuesdays, stuff like that, let me know. All right, let me know. Be a little bit more organized. But as of now, I'm just uploading what I want to upload. All right. So as you can see, the lineup is without Rudy Gobert and Jimmy B. Buckets. Hopefully they can do good. And as I simmed only one game, I decided to check the all-star teams. It turns out Rudy Gobert is an all-star, got injured, first all-star ever for him. And Jimmy B. Buckets is also an all-star, but he's injured. So they will probably not be playing in the all-star games, going to the award races. If you haven't left a like, be sure to now. Uh, we got no one for rookie of the year. We got no one for sixth man of the year, which it should be Jabari Parker in there. That's some bull crap. But we do have Rudy Gobert. Second place for Defensive Player of the Year. Probably won't win it because there he goes to the Anthony Davis. And we got Kevin Porter Jr. Second place for Most Improved. He probably also won't win it. But he his shooting went up amazing. He He's starting to come to his own. He has a, averaging a block and a steal and a half. Or a steal and a block and a half. So I'm going to sim to the end of this season. And hopefully our record can get better than what it currently is. And we're going to end the season... 44 and 38 not the record I was hoping for but we got it nonetheless. It's not a bad record We got Giannis Antetokounmpo winning Rookie of the year winning MVP Cole Anthony rookie of the year six man goes Al Horford Jabari Parker put up better stats uh, Anthony Davis defense player John Morant somehow wins uh, Most improved Doc Rivers coach of the year. We got the all NBA teams. I don't expect anyone to make it for us I don't expect any yeah no maybe the all defensive team we can get jimmy and um rudy damar dropped 30 going back to that 2016-17 damar solid very solid um uh, no one on the really okay gobert was on the on defensive second team i think that was a bit of a snub and we got vernon carry on the rookie team and we are the fifth seed going up against the miami heat my my personal favorite team let's go jimmy p buckets uh, all right. So we tied with them. I guess they had a tiebreaker over us. Interesting how this team, because last time I checked, they were not in the playoff race. That backcourt of Cole Anthony and Tyler Hero looks nice. And they got the veteran presence of DeMarcus Cousins. They have a three center lineup. I'm not sure how that's going to work out. I would put DeMarcus at power forward and put Bam at center if I was them. But we were only actually three games out of the second seed, surprisingly. Bulls snuck in, and the Knicks barely missed it. In the West, yeah, you already know how the West is. The Jazz actually made the playoffs. So maybe that Rudy Gobert trade, Pascal only averaged 13. Maybe it'll work out for them, I don't know. But the Spurs actually went 48-34, and 34, which is surprising. Honestly, they traded DeMar and Aldridge and had a better record than what they had with them. So that's pretty good. I think they were the sixth seed. Interesting. Let's go into our player stats, not Lee leaders. Player stats. Thank you. Uh, Colin Sexton led us in points with 23 points a game, four and a half assists, shooting pretty good from the field. 
And from three. Oh, he shot amazing from three. He shot amazing from three. Uh, Jimmy Butler averaged 21. Colin Sexton went up three points this season. He could have been the most improved race. Jimmy Butler, 21, 5, 5, and 2 steals. Was on the all-defensive team. Shot probably a career low from three, but we'll get it. Kyle, Darius Garland actually had a, a career low season, sadly, from his rookie year. Jabari Parker off the bench, 14 and 6, shooting beautiful percentages. Uh, Rudy Gobert, 13 points. He was averaging 16 rebounds, but I guess that injury lowered his rebounding numbers. He was also averaging 2.9 blocks. But he has a career high in rebounds and steals. So this was a career year for Rudy Gobert. Kevin Porter Jr. also had a career year. This is the year of career years. You come to the Cavs, you have a career year. Just like the Miami Heat. Jacob Evans Jaffin, 6th. Vernon Carey, 6 and 7 with a steal and a block as the starter. And he's solid as a starter. We're going up against the Heat. I'm going to put Jimmy Butler on Cole Anthony because he's really the only threat. I thought because... This boy, Tyler Hero, he is a machine. Tyler Hero is a machine. He is a flamethrower from deep. But game one, all right, the Heat have home court advantage. They are the fourth seed. But we are just going to demolish them. We're demolishing them in game one, winning by 32. Wow, Butler dropped 28. Jabari Parker dropped 22. Colin Sexton with a double-double. Not very good shooting percentages, I can see. But we dominated this game. Tyler Hero dropped 20, the flamethrower. And Cole Anthony got clamped. He almost had a triple-double. But he got clamped. So going into game two here. Let's see. I think we can take 2-0. I think we can sweep this team. I don't think it will happen. But we have the ability to sweep this team. All right. They're not, they're not beating us. Let's see. And we are going to beat only by two. I Whoa. I did not mean to sim all the way through. Cousins dropped 25 and 10. By the way, this is this is a revenge series here. Cousins against the Cavs, even though we didn't spend much time here. And Butler against the Heat, even though we didn't spend much time there either. But it is the revenge series. We got Jimmy Butler dropping 22 points and 3 steals. Not shooting good at all. 37% from the field. Kevin Porter Jr. is having an insane playoffs right now. Garris Garland had a, probably his best game, but shot terrible. Up 2-0. Can we make it 3-0? We're back in Cleveland. Actually, no, we're, we're first time in Cleveland. And we started off, oh my god. All right, we're coming back. We're only down by eight. And we're down by 30. Yeah, we lost. All right. We were coming back, but and Butler's injured. Really? All right, it can't be that bad. Bruce left here. All right, you're fine. You're playing. You're playing through this. I don't care. You're playing through this. Come on. We are currently up two to one. Can we go up three to one? Oh, it's looking, it's looking spicy. It's looking spicy. We're going to go up 3-1 to one against the Miami Heat to win our first playoff series of this series. <laughs> Basically, Jabari Park has been balling in the playoffs. Oh, my goodness. I'm so glad I signed up. I think I signed up to a two-year, maybe three-year team option. Rudy Gobert is not playing very well. You might not get re-signed. I don't know. Maybe do a sign and trade, but you are not performing in the playoffs. That's one of the main reasons why I got you. So, let's see. If we can close it out here. Now, 3-1. to one. It looks like we're going to close it out. Can we close it out? And we are going to close out the Miami Heat in five games. Butler dropped 43. And Colin Sexton dropped 37. Unbelievable. Parker still dropped 13 after that. Tyler Hero went off. Like I said, he's a flamethrower. And Cole Anthony towards the end of the series started to go off all right so yeah he averaged 23 points so jimmy butler on him wasn't wasn't the greatest idea i guess but we still won the series in five games because we're the better team so i didn't mean to go to that player stats for the playoffs oh god jimmy butler averaged 30 points five and a half rebounds four assists two steals sexton dropping 23 and six jabari averaging 17 shooting 55 percent from the field garland not very good percentages Porter, not good percentages. Rudy Gobert, good percentages, not good stats. Vernon Carey, yeah, I didn't even see you on the stat line, but you're averaging eight and seven and a half with the steal and almost a block. You know, I'll take it. We are going to go up against the Chicago Bulls, who beat the one-seeded Nets. The Bulls beat Kyrie Irving and Kevin Durant in six games. Damn, 2K, 2K must be on that good, good stuff to for that to happen. So, if we win, we will have home court in the 
conference finals. We need to win this series. And we are currently down by 18. We lose by 18. Oh my good. Shooting is becoming a problem. The percentages for this team is terrible. We lose by four. No, okay, no, we almost came back. We lose by five points a game. No, we win by five points. What am I looking at? We won by five. I did put Gobert on marketing, and I'm going to have to put Jimmy Butler on Zach Levine. And we are going to win game three, please. We won game three by 12 points. We are currently up two games to one. Butler went off facing his former team, facing both of his former teams. Jimmy Butler went off. They got Bogdan, I'm guessing. I think that's Bogdan. We are currently up two to one, and now we are tied two to two. I almost said down. Tied 2-2, two two. we got put more adjustments. And this is a close one. This is a pivotal game 5. Whoever wins this takes advantage. Down by 4. I should have jumped in. We were down by 4. We lost. We lost by 3. Jimmy. Jimmy. Oh my god. The shooting. The shooting. Oh my god. Dude, we need this game. And we are going to a game 7. I didn't mean to do that. We're going to game 7. We need to go to conference finals. Because I think this team could make it to the finals. Oh, we're down by 19. Oh, it's over. It's over. We just lost. We just lost. Yup. We lost by 34. Oh my god. We got demolished. Zach Levine went off. Marketing got clamped. Oh, man. Playoff-wise, Jimmy Butler shot terrible from three, but he had a great playoffs. Parker shot 50% from the field and three. I should have started this man. Oh, that's a sad way to end the playoffs. Seven games, one game away from the conference finals. Oh, but the playoff streak stays alive. We have made the playoffs two consecutive years ever since I took over the GM spot of the Cavs. And it looks like the two-seeded Rockets will beat the seven-seeded Sixers. Next episode will be the NBA draft offseason and the start of next season. Leave a like if you guys did enjoy. GG.